Hi students, today I am going to explain how to determine the focal length of the given convex lens using UV graph method. So to perform this experiment I need a lens stand and a light source so this is act as a object here and I need a screen and I need a measuring scale. So the distance between object and lens is U, the distance between lens and the screen is called V. So now I am going to plot a graph between U and V to determine the focal length of the given convex lens. First I will explain the theory part. So first I am going to write the lens formula here. So 1 over F equals to 1 by V minus 1 by U. So V is nothing but my image distance from the lens where U is the object distance from the lens and F is my focal length of the given convex lens. So I can simply write my 1 by F equals to 1 by V minus of 1 by minus U. Since you are this is my lens, my object is placed in the left side of the lens, so it is going to be negative, my image formed here from the lens right side of the lens is going to be positive V. So if you solve this, I am getting a value of 1 by V plus 1 by U, this is nothing but U V by U plus V equals to F. So this is my focal length of the given convex lens. So using this formula, I am going to explain how to determine the focal length of the given lens. So using this table, I am going to measure the readings. So the first column is the object distance u, this is measured in centimeters. The second column is my image distance is v, this is measured in centimeters. So in this third column is 1 by u. This is in centimeter inverse. The fourth column is 1 by V. And using this parameters, I am able to find the focal length of the given convex lens. By the distance object method, I have already found that the focal length of the given convex lens is 15 centimeter. My object distance is always lies between f and 2f then only my image formed in the screen should be real and inverted and magnified so my object distance should lies between 15 to 30 centimeters so first i'm going to fix my value of the object distance u is 20 centimeter here so the distance from here to this point is 20 centimeter. So now I am going to move the screen slowly away from the screen, away from the lens. Observe the lens clearly. So now there is a formation of the image at this point. So this distance is called u. So now I am going to measure the distance from this point to this point. So I am measuring the lens distance from here to this point is from this middle of the lens to the front face of the screen is 52 centimeters. So first I am going to write here when the object distance is 20 centimeter, my image distance is 52 centimeters. Next up, I am going to increase the object distance 22. So now I am going to increase the object distance now from here into 22 centimeters. So now again I am going to move my screen away from the lens. So 
see observe the screen there is a formation of clear and uh, inverted image so my inverted image formed at this particular point so now i'm going to measure the distance from here to here this is my u now now the distance is going to be 48.5 so my image distance now is going to be 48.5 for the object distance of 22 now i'm going to increase the value 24 my u value is now 24 so i have to place my scale here so now i have to move two centimeters away from the source so now i'm going to place my screen and then i'm going to move the screen away from the lens see there is a formation of clear image in the screen so now i'm going to measure the distance from lens to the screen is approximately 41 centimeter approximately 41 centimeters for one 41 centimeters so the next case i'm going to solve for 26 centimeter image distance, object distance is 26 centimeters so again i have to change the distance here from 24 to 26 and then i am going to move my screen away from the lens so there is a formation of clear image on the screen so now i am going to measure the distance this is now 30 approximately 36 centimeters now my d value the image distance is 36 centimeters so now i'm going to increase my object distance is 28 so now this is going to 28 now i'm going to move my screen from the away from here so we're getting clear image at this particular point so now i'm going to measure the distance from here to here lens to the screen is 32.5 so now my image distance is 32.5 so next time i'm going to fix my object distance is 30 it's nothing but my 2f so at 2f i should get real inverted and the size of the image is equal to the size of the object so first i'm going to write here this is my 30 here and then i have to move from here so i'm getting clear image at this point so now i'm going to measure the distance from there to here it's exactly 30 so my object distance is 30 my image distance also is 30 so this is at 2f so using these observations i'm going to explain how to find the focal length of the given convex lens using this table we are able to find 1 by u from this column 1 by v from this column so i am able to find u and v and u plus v and f is equal to uv by u plus v so i am going to find the focal length separately for this using this u and v value and focal length separately for this u and v value here and this u and v value here So now I'm going to calculate my value of the focal length of the given convex lens using my object distance u and image distance v. So using u and v, I'm able to find my uv for this 20 and 52. I'm getting 1040 centimeter square, and for u plus v, I'm getting the value of 
20 plus 52 is 72 centimeters. So, my focal length is uv by u plus v. So, I can calculate using this 1040 divided by 72 which gives a value of 14.44 centimeter. This is my focal length of the convex lens using this u and this v. Similarly, I am going to calculate for this u and this v and this u and this v. So, if I am calculating for different u and v values, we are able to find the focal length. So, if I take the average of this f, I am getting the mean value is 14.96 or approximately 15 centimeters. Now, I am going to explain how to determine the focal length of the given convex lens using uv graph method. So, we have a graph here. So, I am going to use these two columns. So, I am going to plot a graph between v and u. So, along my y axis is my v, along my x axis is u. So, since my u is the negative value, is this left side of the your lens. So, I am taking u is the negative x axis. First, I am going to fix the scale. Along x axis, 1 centimeter equals to 5 centimeter. So, this is starts from 0, 5, 10 centimeter, 15, 20, 25, 30. Next, along the scale along y axis is 1 centimeter equals to 5 centimeter. Here, this starts from 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 till 55. Now, I am going to take this reading 20. 52. So, here along my x axis my 20, here is, is 52. So, this point. Next reading is 22, 48.5. 22 somewhere here and 48.5 here. So, using these two columns, I am able to spot these points. If I connect all the points, we are getting this line. So, now I am going to find this point is called P. This is my point P. If I take the straight line from this point, this is intersect along my y axis is called B. If I take the straight line which is intersect along my x axis is going to be A. So, the distance from this point to this point is called OB. The distance from this point to this point is called what? OA. OA equals to 30 centimeter and OB equals to 30 centimeter. The focal length formula is 0. OA plus OB divided by 4. So, 30 plus 30 divided by 4. My focal length of the given convex lens is 15 centimeters or 15 into 10 power minus 2 meters. So, using your UV graph method, we are able to find the focal length. Next, I am going to explain how to determine the uh, focal length of the given convex lens using 1 by V and 1 by U graph method. So, for that, I need this two columns. So, along y axis is my 1 by v, along x axis is my 1 by u. So, first I am going to fix the scale. Along my x axis, 1 centimeter equals to 0 0.02 centimeter inverse. Since it is a 1 by v or 1 by u, we are using centimeter inverse. Along my y axis equals to 0 0.02 centimeter inverse. So, the difference between here, this is 0 0.01, the next line is 0 0.012, 0 0.014, 0 0.016. So, this is the scale we are fixing. So, using these two columns, we are able to spot these points. If I connect all these points here, if I am able to get this straight line. So, there is an intercept of this line along my y axis is called R, the intercept of this line along my x axis is called Q. So, the generalized formula to find the focal length is 2 divided by OQ plus OR. OQ is nothing but the distance from this point to this point, OR is the distance from this point to this point. So, using this values from this value and this value, we are able to find the focal length of the given convex lens. So, this is how we are able to find the focal length of the given convex lens using 1 by V and 1 by U graph method. So, if you like this video, share with your friends and subscribe our channel to get the regular updates. Thanks for watching.